When you come to class, you're going to receive a map that looks very similar to what you see here on the screen. The map is a map more than just of the world. It's a map of the different plates, both continental and oceanic. Now, the continental plates do you reside here where the continents are. The oceanic plates are, you know, typically where the oceans would be on a globe. As we take a look at it, though, you're also going to get a second uh, piece of paper that gives listings for some major earthquakes throughout history, along with some active volcanoes as well, too. And it's going to be up to you to plot these earthquakes and volcanoes onto this map. As you do that, there will be a pattern established between the earthquakes and the volcanoes. When you start, you're going to want you're going to want to do one thing first though. Before you do anything, need you definitely need to make sure that you identify the different hemispheres on this map. It is not too difficult to make sure that the northern hemisphere and southern hemispheres are marked north and south of the equator. But the more difficult one probably is going to be marking the um, prime meridian. Yeah, it's not a very good line, but it's close. At zero degrees and also the international date line. Again, yeah, that's close enough at 180 degrees. And as you mark these then, uh, starting from, uh, going from left to right here at least, this will be the Eastern Hemisphere, followed by the Western Hemisphere, and then it comes back to the Eastern Hemisphere again. That should help you identify where these earthquakes and volcanoes will be. Make sure your map looks like this before you go any further. When you do start to plot your earthquakes, again, this is basically about where the uh, section in the map is going to will put you here. But the first earthquake is located at 60 degrees north. Uh, here's my 60 degrees north. And then it's also located at 152 degrees west. So this is going to put me probably right about here. And notice that it's right by one of those dark gold lines that allows us to see that there is a plate boundary here. Got the Pacific plate here, North American plate, and even the Eurasian plate all sort of colliding right here. My scale as well, too. I was at 180 degrees. I move here to 160 degrees west. This one up here is 140 degrees west. So again, 60 degrees north, 152 degrees west. Yeah, it puts me, I guess, right about in that zone. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that as it shows on my plotting earthquake and volcano locations with a number one. I'm do my best to put that one there. You can make yours a little bit smaller or make it about the same size on your map. It's up to you. Once I plot all my earthquakes, though, with, which are 28 earthquakes with 28 numbers, I want to make sure I switch colors and move over to the letters for plotting volcanoes. So now I want to go ahead and plot my volcanoes. And the first volcano, ironically enough, happens to be right next to that earthquake. We plotted at number one. So again, I want to move. So now I want to go ahead and plot my volcanoes. And the first volcano, ironically enough, happens to be right next to that earthquake. We plotted at number one. So again, I want to move my map around and I want to find 60 degrees north. I know that's going to be right around this area here. I was there before with that first earthquake and 150 degrees west. So again, my scale here is 120 degrees west, 140, 160. So right in between 
right around here. I'm going to go ahead and make that one. I need to change my colors though here. Let's go with, uh, yeah, this one looks good. Go ahead and ma mark now my letter, oops, my letter A, best I can anyway, right about there to represent that volcano at 60 degrees north, 150 degrees west. The last thing I'm going to want to do as well, down at the bottom of your page, you're going to see six different mountain ranges. Mountain ranges are going to take up a, a longer amount of space. So when we come there, go ahead and pick a third color. Uh, let's do something orange, I guess, there. Uh, and my first mountain range is the Sierra Nevada range. Shows up at 120 degrees west and at a range of 35 to 45 degrees. So 120 again, nah, didn't really move my map around very well. But 35 to 45 degrees north, and go ahead and mark my mountain range with some triangles, eh, kind of triangles, <laughs> about like that. Hopefully yours looks way better than mine. But those are the brief instructions on how to keep your uh, lab here on plotting earthquakes, volcanoes, and a few mountain ranges on the map.